Let's first talk about why you guys decided to go inside the mind of a 11-year-old girl. Great question. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it started for Inside Out with Pete's kind of observations of his own daughter as she was growing up, kind of transitioning from kind of elementary school age into middle school, and sort of the emotional changes that he saw going on it left him asking, what is going on inside her head? So that was kind of the root of him starting to explore this as a subject matter for a film. And what was the hardest part about creating this world? Because, you know, you have no frame of reference, really. Everything. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, there's no frame of reference. Um, uh, you know, what does a memory look like? What does an emotion look like? What does the mind even look like? You know, these are all uh, questions we had from the very beginning, and we spent many years exploring what it could possibly be. Mm. And it just needed to, the tricky thing is like we all uh, experience emotion, we all have thoughts, and so when you, when we visualize it, it had to, the audience has to look at it and go, yes, that's, that visual is how I feel. Like, mm -hmm. like for example, anger. When I get, when I get angry, that's, you're showing me what, I, what it feels like to be angry on screen. So that was a really uh, tough thing that we've never, it's been a challenge for this film. Can't go on research trips, you know. <laughs> they yeah. went to the trash dumps for Wally, -E and they went scuba diving for Finding Nemo. We had to go inside our own heads. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so you guys both went Pixar Studios for a long time. What is it about Pixar Studios that keeps creating these fantastic films? What's the secret there? Well, Secret. I, I, think, I think it's just an amazing uh, collaboration and I think we're privileged in having just, just some incredibly talented directors that are bringing some just beautiful ideas to the table that we're all exploring and trying to kind of help them fully realize. And I feel like, like Inside Out, the world of Inside Out could have only been explored at Pixar. They really are willing to take the risk and try something that's really, it doesn't feel like it would be easy to do and it wasn't. From, the, from day one we knew it was going to be difficult. But we were like, let's just let's try it. And I think all the Pixar movies has like some Easter eggs hidden in there, right? Yeah. Does this one has this one has Easter eggs, right? Can you give us a clue of where we should look? It's not near as fun to go Easter egg hunting if you know where the Easter eggs are. Just a small little hint. What is it in the beginning, middle, and is it? You have to get the Blu-ray and you have to go frame by frame <laughs> and look very closely. There is one from the Good Dinosaur that you should look for. That's it's pretty big, but that's all I'm going to say. Okay. And the pizza truck is in there a few times. Mm -hmm. All right. Just got to look in the right place, though. Got to keep people guessing. And Halloween's coming up. Are you guys expecting a lot of uh, Inside Out costumes? Yeah. Are you guys planning on dressing up as any of the characters? Or I know Mark is. I am. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter, actually, her, uh, her birthday is November 3rd when the Blu-ray comes out. And she's told me she wants to have an Inside Out themed birthday party. So there's going to be a lot of dressing up as Inside Out characters at our house. Wow, very cool. And if it's uh, one thing that you want, really want the audiences, especially the children, to take away from this movie, what would it be? Well, um, I, I want the children to take away the same thing that the adults take away. Because the movie is it's about embracing sadness, and um, everybody can learn that lesson, not just the kids, it's for everybody. Great. Yeah. There's value in all of your emotions, and it's good to not be too one-sided.